What's up guys? Welcome to another painting tutorial. This time we're gonna look at the uh, Goblin King of Moria from the Lord of the Rings, not the Hobbit. So for the first step we used uh, recut flesh to base color the entire model uh, so that the other paint can, st can stick more to the model. And for the next step I used Palic Wack Flesh to paint the, his teeth and uh, then I used Overland Sunset to paint his eyes and then I used this green Wack Flesh to paint his uh, skin areas and then I used Methistone Red to paint his uh, his leather part as you can see there his arms and uh, under his uh, and between his legs you see there uh, this red color really gives this character a lot more colors it actually stands out more i i think it's a very very good choice of paint uh, you also have a have a, sh a choice of you you can also paint his leather part with brown but I don't think that's a good idea. I like the red more. For the armor, I painted it with this color chainmail. And for this final step, of course, of course, we painted it with the shade color, Agra's Earth Shade, as I do with all of my models. Then we are pretty much done with the character, and I'm now gonna show you how I painted the base. Uh, the first step I did to paint the base was to paint it with steel land mud and it, it's a texture paint and this is pretty much the base. When that was dry I painted it, I actually dry brushed it with the storm vervin fur and for the absolutely final part I dry brush just the very top of the base with uh, Regath Flesh. Normally, the original Moria warriors are painted the exactly the same. Uh, so yeah, I hope that you like this video guys. Don't forget to show some love as you always do. Thank you very much. And uh, peace out, guys. I see you in the next video.